I'll give you anything. I just, I don't want you to perish. So what do you need? What's wrong in your life? Real problems, though. Are you screwed up? Are you, are you depressed or something? What's wrong with you? Are you confused? Do you have no knowledge? Do you feel like you have no knowledge? That you're stupid? I felt the same way when I came to this university. And you know what? I walked out the door feeling the same. All the money I paid to be doctored here, it didn't go to anything. I felt the same. I felt ignorant. The fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. If you start doing what he says, fulfilling his commandment, you're going to start to learn things. And you know what? It's going to start to blow your mind. Because you're going to start to open up. Your understanding is going to start to open up. Those pathways, those highways in your brain matter are going to get lit up with activity, with light. And that light is Christ. And He's going to run all through your life, which is His life. There is only one living. Get to know Him. Amen. Hey guys, I got good news for you. Guess what? The kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus Christ is alive. He's available to you today. Jesus, you have access to Jesus Christ, not through some pastor, through some fake church that wants your money. You have access to God right now through Jesus Christ by turning to Him, by having a relationship with Him. Now, it's not the fake Jesus that I'm talking about. I'm talking about the real Jesus, the one that is alive and available to you because the kingdom of God is at hand now. You can change your life for the better today by turning to Jesus Christ right now. Salvation is not after you're dead. You can't cry out from the grave when you're dead. It's not possible. You have to turn to Jesus today. You have to have a relationship with Jesus today because the relationship you have with Him now is what's going to carry you over when you die into eternity. Are you going to die in the light or are you going to die in the darkness? Now, we don't want to be out here hellfire preaching too much, but the truth is you have to turn from your wicked ways. You have to turn from sin. The wages of sin is death. Okay, You, you don't want to be a walking zombie where you're just, all you're interested in is in yourself, in, in promoting yourself and building yourself up. Okay, We are here by, created by Jesus for Jesus, for His pleasure, to be pleasing to Him. Anybody think about praising God and thanking God for this blessed day? Maybe thanking God for the truth of us being able to live as wicked as we are. Now, not that you don't have the ability to stop sinning. That's another lie from the church. That somehow you don't have the ability to turn from your wicked ways. You have the ability by God to a free will to make a choice today. To stop your wicked ways, stop sinning, stop fornicating, stop being a drunkard, stop smoking weed. And trust me, I can give you a personal witness. I used to be dead in Christ. I used to be a walking dead man. Okay? I had no life in me because I was dead to the Lord. But guess what? I've got good news. He can come and live in you and He can change you. He can take that dead, stony heart of yours that's destroyed and dead and has no love in it and He can change you and fill you up with the truth. He can make your heart a heart of flesh, a heart of love. He can turn you from your wicked, sinning, drunken, all I care about is myself, self, to someone that's loving, that loves your neighbor, that loves the Lord before all other things. Okay? You have a chance today. The good news is that you can turn to Him right now and you don't need a pastor. You don't need the Pope. You don't need anybody to turn to God. You can just turn to Him right now. You can cry out to Him at will. He's available now. But He may not be available down the road. So why wouldn't you turn to the truth today? Now, another thing. All of you are seeking knowledge. You're going to men for knowledge. This, the, 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 all knowledge comes from Christ. Okay? That's where you want to get knowledge from, is Jesus Christ. He can give you the ultimate knowledge. He can give you peace beyond understanding. He can give you all the knowledge that you're seeking by going in here to some secular 
uh, university, all that knowledge is worthless if you don't turn to Christ or if Christ hasn't told you to go there. You've got to follow the Holy Spirit. You've got to follow the truth. You have to follow God. And the Holy Spirit who's speaking to you, guiding you, wants to guide you into a life that's way better than the crap you're coming up with, taking these courses or whatever it is. Your plan, your, oh, I've got all these plans for my life. They suck compared to the plan that Jesus Christ has for each and every one of you students. Everybody here, God has a better plan because his ways are higher than your ways. Okay, your ways stink. Human people have an idea of glory and for themselves, but it doesn't work. It all comes to naught. Half these, uh, the jobs that are going to be available to you through your studies aren't even there. It's not even real. You're wasting yourself when you should have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Now, what does that mean to have a relationship with Jesus? Well, he's alive. You can speak to him. You don't need a preacher. You don't need a pastor. You don't need the Pope. You can call on God and cry out to him right now. This, this kingdom of God is at hand today, guys. Okay? It's real. And it's not just after you die and later. It's now. The kingdom of God is at hand now. This has an important aspect and effect on your life today. That you cannot... You're in danger. Like, I hate to break it to you, but you're in danger, everybody. You're in danger if you're not in tune with Christ. You're in danger if you're not. Yeah, bro, it's funny to you because you got a stogie hanging out of your mouth. You're looking good. But you're in danger of hellfire. Not just hellfire today or in eternity, but it's a whole scope of it. And the scope of what? The scope of turning to back to God? Isn't that what you're trying to figure out by trying to better the world through your studies? Is what is the issue with the world? The issue is enmity against God. The issue is separation from God. Okay? Hey, everybody, I got, I got the answer. The answer is Jesus Christ. All the answer to every question is Jesus. Okay? Jesus has the answers that you're seeking. Everything that you're looking for in this university, in your life, can be found today in Christ. But you, you, the wolves pull out your eyes by the devil who wants to drive you into sin, smoking weed, partying it up, maybe fornicating with the chicks at the university. It's all for naught. It all brings you to sin, which is, what is sin? Sin is the manifestation of transgression from the law. The law of what? The law of God. God has a law, and you all know that law because it's written on your heart and in your minds. Everybody knows Jesus Christ and knows the truth. So why do you run from it? Why do you blind yourself? Why do you make the choice to be a child of Satan? Why don't you be a child of the Lord? A child of righteousness? Why don't you turn from your sin, turn from your wickedness, and be righteous and holy? All men, all you young men, I call on you today. The Lord God is sent me out here to ask you to cut your crop and turn to holiness. Stop your wicked ways. He wants you to be holy and righteous and stand up as a real man. The man that he created in Adam and Eve before they turned from God. What did they do? They turned from God. And in turning away from God, we lost our blessing. We lost the blessing we have of eternal life, of a life of abundance, a life of everlasting. And why would you give that up? For a few bits of time on the earth now? For a little bit of glory in your life today? That's, that's ridiculous. That's like saying you're going to university just for the four years or whatever and then you're going to die. It'd be senseless. Well, by the same token, it's senseless to go through life living your dreams, your ideas, when there's a better way. And that's hard to take. No, hellfire is a nightmare. Hey, guys, the party in, the party in hell is canceled due to fire. It's not nice to be on fire, to be burning. And what is the grave? What is hell? Hell is separation from God. Why would you want to be separated from love? Why would you want to be separate from the truth? Why? The truth is you don't want to be separate. But you're being disguised. You're being confused. You're being deceived by the devil. By Satan. Lucifer. Lucifer coming as God, as fake God in the flesh. Lucifer coming as the man of perdition with his one world government that's a joke that's not even real 
Okay? This one world government, one religion, where we accept all things. Oh yeah, let's accept sodomy. Let's accept child pornography. Let's accept fornication. Let's accept thievery. No. The Lord God said that sodomy was an abomination. So you want to turn from that. You want to turn from your wicked ways and live righteous. The, the Lord God is calling on Toronto, University of Toronto, to live righteous and holy today. He wants you to turn from your wicked ways now. Because the glory that you're seeking in your life comes from righteousness. The glory that you're seeking in your life, the wisdom that you're seeking, comes from the truth. And what is the truth? The truth is, is that Jesus Christ is alive. He speaks. His sheep hear his voice. They're not going to tell you that in the university. They're not going to tell you that in the church. The Pope is going to tell you you have to go to him to get to God. It's a lie from the devil. You have to go to God on your knees, on your own. You have a mediator between you and God that's available right now. And his name is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is available, people. You can turn to him now and transform your life. You can be born again. You can get rid of the old man that's into fornication, drunkenness, lies, deceit. And you can turn, have the Lord through his grace, transform you into a new man. A man of holiness and righteousness. This is the man and the woman that you want to be. Beautiful, actually, for September. Praise the Lord. So would you count to keep that as hellfire preaching? Nah. That's not hellfire. Right? No. Our signs aren't aggressive enough for hellfire preaching. All victory is in Jesus. Because uh, true victory is overcoming that which is, you are and that which the world has put on you. True victory is becoming something greater than you are. And we have the right, by His grace, to become something greater. To become like Him. Even though we're nothing like him, really, in our flesh. I mean, David, it is written that his heart was after the Lord. He had a heart similar to Jesus' heart. But he had his neighbor killed, and he disobeyed God when he counted Israel, and a bunch of people died. It was his flesh. He had a weakness. His weakness was his sin. And he sinned because uh, he's not perfect. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. It's just how it is. And when we sin, we reap death. You know, biologically, death is unscientific. You're not supposed to die. The body actually has the ability to continue forth, to repair every cell, fix every broken DNA strand, do everything. It's true. Seriously, what? Death isn't real unless you believe in it. Are you believing in it? Are you following it? That's the important question. Because I believe in and follow life. So death isn't real for me. It's just a transition. I know exactly what will happen when I die. I don't know verbatim, you know, what heaven looks like. But I understand. I have understanding given to me by the Lord. And that's 
comfort as the Holy 